the nature of what happens here um, relative to our tidal action is that a significant amount of water comes through our pass and what comes into Cotton Bayou, which is a, an area that we're very concerned about environmentally, um, is that it has no flushing capability. So this is one of the areas that we are sampling regularly and testing for uh, the presence of petroleum hydrocarbons and for indicators for dispersants. And so um, right now we do have some possible uh, indicators of dispersant and we are um, looking into repeating the test to test its viability and then also fingerprinting to see if it's associated with the oil spill. Could you talk a little bit about the levels you're finding? Uh, right now what we're seeing with the preliminary testing is 66 parts per million or kilograms per liter with the EPA screening level being 750 parts per million. So in and of itself it's not um, of great concern other than if it's associated with the spill then that could mean that there is a potential for dispersant materials to be located within our backwaters which we are very concerned about. Okay, Mayor, could you uh, tell me again what you mentioned earlier about your your children, your grandchildren? Yeah. Well, my, my concern is that when it comes to the health and safety of our, our family, our community, and our visitors, we absolutely err on the side of caution. Right now, the studies and tests are showing no toxicity. However, we know there's oil in the sand, and we know there's oil in the water at times. So as a litmus test, I have a four-year-old. I'm probably not going to let my four-year-old go in the water right now because I don't have enough objective data in front of me to say it is completely 100% safe. Doesn't mean it is. It doesn't mean it's not. It just means we have decided the position the city of Orange Beach is going to take is we're going to test, 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 then bring in an independent panel to look at those numbers, uh, review all of that test data, and come to a conclusion based on, again, objective data. We do not want to be seen as trying to risk anyone's health and safety to make a buck. But at the same time, we're not going to lose a buck based on hysteria that's unsubstantiated or agenda driven. So hopefully when you hear me say we're safe, we've got the data to support it. When we say oil, from a city staff perspective, not being petroleum engineers. We are lumping that in um, a category of tar balls, uh, sheens, um, and of course free oil, skimmable oil. But I'm finding when we speak to uh, these experts, tar balls are not considered oil. They are something different. They're emulsified, they changed in character, um, when they mention free oil or sheen or skimmable oil or, or tar balls or product, you, there's, there's differences in their minds. But when we talk about, you know, we want, it, we want our beaches to be clean, we want our waters, waterways to be clean, we want all of those types of product to be clean, to be removed. And... When the, you know, when the mayor or staff says, we know there's oil on the beach, well, it may not be free oil, but it could be intermittent tar balls that we receive. And that may go on for a while. Is it threatening? It may very well not be. But at the same time, it needs to be addressed, whether they consider that oil or not. And I think that we're getting better about communicating that. And it's something that I've recently kind of, you know, discovered in our discussion. Our, our goal is we won't. We want our beaches to be pre-oil spill. Mm -hmm. We don't want any type of oil derivative or any product on the beach waiting for some type of natural bacterial process to eliminate it. We want it gone. We want BP to remove it. And again, like Kit said, when I say we have oil on the beach, that doesn't mean it's toxic because the tests show it's not toxic. Most of it is not on the beach. It's under the sand in certain areas. It's very intermittent in nature. But with a rough surf, it stirs up a little bit of it. So again, I go back to we're going to err on the side of caution. We want to protect the health and safety of our 
community, our family, our visitors. But, but we also got to be realistic, too. We've had oil on our beaches for as long as I've been coming here. And we've had contaminants that come and go. So we, we just got to be realistic about what we expect, and I think we are.